I am really excited to be here today with my friend Will Wall. Will's here to show us some of his favorite recipes from Louisiana using our product. So Will, welcome to the Jones Farmhouse. Thank you, Philip. I'm glad to be here, buddy. Wonderful to have you. Yes, so sir. today we're going to do what exactly? We're going to take a little bit of what we do in Louisiana, which are traditional dishes, and we're going to incorporate a lot of your products, which are really, really good, and we're going to just kind of jazz them up and make them really nice. So good, authentic, Creole cooking. Absolutely. From a guy who is just a cooking enthusiast. You're not a professional. No, you are a just, no. how did you get into cooking? It's, I guess it's a childhood thing. Everyone in Louisiana, you're taught certain things and cooking is one of them. It's just something, it's like a rite of passage. People in Louisiana, they take pride in cooking. It gives you your badge of honor. So. And I've eaten some of Will's cooking, and I can tell you, he is not just an enthusiast, he is a really good cook, and that's why he's here today cooking in the kitchen, using Jones products in traditional Louisiana recipes. We're gonna make a dish called Shrimp Creole. Very famous, popular. Very popular in Louisiana. It's a comfort food is what it is. Are there a lot of different styles of Creole or is it just really what we have in front of us traditionally? This is traditional. Okay. Fresh okra, cut up, fresh yellow onion, obviously fresh shrimp, deveined, fresh parsley, fresh green onion, our ham, our andouille, garlic, tomatoes, and of course the spices that we're gonna add on the side. Excellent, and I can tell you, that is a Jones Dairy Farm boneless, natural juice, hickory smoked ham. There's, we make them the old fashioned way, yes. and it's got flavor. So yeah, I'm excited good. to see how this works out in the Creole. I'll tell you what, instead of talking, let's get going, and Absolutely. I'm gonna let you get to work and show us how it's done. First, you need the yellow onions. Okay. We're gonna add those guys here. We're gonna add our okra, all right. Now we're gonna add our tomatoes. And that's just real pretty. It's a lot of color in this. It's beautiful. Now, I'm just gonna add just a little salt. It's cooking down slowly. Mm -hmm. What's next? We're gonna add the garlic. We're gonna add the andouille. Okay, there's a bowl of andouille. Which is really pretty. Local andouille. And then the, the crowning glory is the ham, the diced uh, Jones ham. This is a Cajun seasoning, okay? We're just gonna add a little bit on the top, just a little bit for right now. And as we add the shrimp, it's gonna soak up a lot of the seasoning. It's not gonna be overbearing. A little color shot on how pretty that is. It's beautiful. Let's talk a little bit about how we met and how you ended up coming up to Fort Atkinson to, to show us a little bit of authentic Creole cooking. So Philip and I met five years ago through mutual, a mutual friend and uh, we ended up fishing together. I fish in South Louisiana. I've got a business down on the coast. And uh, from there we figured out we both like to fish and we both like to cook. So I think that's where the friendship started. And Philip asked me if I would come and share a few things that we do as far as our cooking styles and incorporate it with the products that he has here. You know, our products, because they are old world, they're small batch, they're, they're clean ingredient statement, we really pride ourselves on having a unique offering in the marketplace. Right. And you know, the first time I met you, you tried our bacon and our ham and you just went bonkers. It. You, yeah, you yeah. loved it. And really that good. was great. Yeah. And then we've been sharing stories and talking about food for years since then. Right. So this is great. This just looks fantastic. Yeah, it's gonna be really, really it good. It smells when, good too. Yeah, once we get the finished product. At this point, it's all smothered down nice, okay? We're gonna add our shrimp. I drained all the water out of it. And I deveined the shrimp. It's real important. You don't wanna put any of the juice inside of it. This is gonna take about another 15 to 20 minutes on a low heat. And at this point, we're gonna add a little more seasoning. Nice. Okay, hot sauce. 
this really sets this off because you're putting this over rice. I like crystal because I was raised with crystal, okay? It was my grandfather's favorite, so it's naturally my favorite. And we're just gonna stir it all up and incorporate everything. As soon as the shrimp are cooked, we're ready to plate it, serve it, and enjoy it, right? That is correct. So basically what we wanna do, you just kinda mix in there, and we're just going to finish it on top. Obviously we've got a lot of shrimp in here, so. You're going hungry style. And then what you want to do, okay, after you're done with that, a little parsley. Just gonna finish it, finish it with a little parsley. Okay. A little bit of green onion. Okay. All right, and we're gonna okay, do something. You, why don't you do that? You know, I've got a special ingredient. I gotta add some bacon. And everybody, I'm gonna throw you a curveball, and I know this isn't traditional. And that's okay because everybody but, loves bacon. But look at that. Let's take it. Add a little bacon to our shrimp creole. That's beautiful. And I'll tell you what, this is going to be absolutely delicious. Yes, and this is simple. Anyone can do this. Let's get you dressed up right here. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. We got some of that. And I'm not going to short you on the bacon for no. you. Look at that, extra helping of bacon to just bring that all around. And that's shrimp creole. Excellent. We've kicked it up a notch. That is a real treat. I can't wait to try it. Thank you, Will. You're welcome. Let's get in and try yourself a shrimp. Mm. I feel like I'm in Louisiana right now. That's so good. It is delicious. <laughs> so good. Outstanding.